Hello everyone and welcome back to Half-Life 2, but this time it's episode 1. That's just the name of this standalone game expansion episode thing that looks like it continues on from Half-Life 2 because look at that! Look at that sky, that's the Citadel. Uh, and I guess that, that's what we did. So this game looks to be quite literally picking up. Uh, right after the ending of Half-Life 2, or at least as a result of what uh, Gordon and Alex did at the top of the Citadel, foiling Dr. Breen's plans, where G-Man just straight up just walked in out of the nether and said, Gordon, time out. You sit over here, uh, because you have to, you don't have a choice, and uh, this is my stop, see you later. And he walks off. Half-Life 2, Episode 1. Shall we jump straight in and see what the hell this game is all about? How it can continue on from the cliffhanger ending of Half-Life 2? I think so. So, Chapter 1 is called Undue Alarm. Uh, we're playing on normal difficulty as the original playthrough, same as always. So, Chapter 1. Start a new game. Let's play Half-Life 2, Episode 1. Tell me, Dr. Freeman, if you can. You have destroyed so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Can you name even one thing? I thought not. Vort saved her. We'll see about that. Who what? What? G-Man's progress is being halted by Vort's undue alarm. He has to be somewhere around here. Gravity gun. Give it to him, dog. Oh, it's back to normal. There, Gordon. Dog's happy to see you. I can tell. <laughs> okay, dog. Go get the monitor set up so we can check in with my dad. He must be worried sick about us. He was so sure I wouldn't find you here. The Citadel's really coming apart. I still don't know how we got out of there. The last thing I remember is... Green falling. Huge explosion, and then I heard vorticons. Next thing I knew, Dog was digging me out of the rubble. Oh, it, it's all so strange. Oh. We should. It's my dad. We've been trying to reach him for hours. So G Man puts us in purgatory, but the Vorts come in. These look they're different, too. They look different. Uh, they come in and they save Alex, teleport her down to the base, prevent G-Man from doing something, like they're blocking him, and then they stand in front of us 
and teleport us away. They saved us from G-Man, and then he's going, we'll see about that. So we've also been brought back, but not because G-Man wanted us to. That's an interesting one. Willie hears that we found you. Come wow. Um, my God. So the gravity gun is no longer supercharged, <laughs> and uh, neither is, uh, I assume, us from uh, the ending of the of the the main game. <laughs> He's being a satellite dish. We got it. Dad. Alex, where are you? Please, God, tell me you're out of the city. Well, not quite yet. What? But listen, Dad, we found him. You found Gordon? I don't believe it. But listen, you two have to get out of the city. The Citadel could blow at any moment. There's no question that it will, I'm afraid. Our remote sensors indicate the process is accelerating toward a dark energy flare. Is Anyone he? left in the vicinity will be subjected to energetic events which are certainly on my powers of speculation. The ravages to cellular material are Reiner, stop! Dad? Oh dear, Eli, I'm sorry, but surely there's no need for undue alarm. Alex is well out of harm's way by now. That's the name oh, of the level. We're still at the Citadel. What? Oh dear, but there's really no time. The core is exceedingly close to collapse. Why, there's no way to get far enough without first... Well, nothing short of a direct intervention in the core could possibly retard the reaction. You mean, going in? Into the core, yes. But it's far too dangerous to consider. The chamber will be bathed in radiation. Well, you do have the hazard suit. If we found a way into the Citadel, it's possible we Alex, could... Alex, no! But Dad... Izzy, talk some sense into her! I'm sorry, Eli, but I don't see any other way. It would help us evacuate more citizens. We can do this, Dad. Okay, Alex, so, uh, okay. Okay, just promise me. Promise me that you won't take a single unnecessary risk. I promise. I love you. I love you too, baby. I'll be praying for you. Don't worry. I'll see you soon. <laughs> I love their relationship. She's going to take so many single unnecessary risks. <laughs> wow. Let's see if we can find a way into the Citadel from somewhere along the rim. Hmm. Dog, a little help, please? Ah, uh, it's a gunship. I'm going to quickly just uh, bump up the audio ever so slightly. So we can have the voice a bit louder. Look at the environment. Look at the the sky boxes, like quite literally. This is this is insane. Okay, boy, pack up and meet us on the far side of this ridge. Ooh. Whoa. What a drop. After you, Gordon. Damn, I can't believe it takes off like I can't believe it takes off literally exactly when Half-Life 2 finishes. Like Without even missing a beat. It's been a couple of hours. At most. Oh shit. <laughs> you scared the hell out of me. Good boy. Stay with us and help us find a way over. He's so cool. We love our dog. I cannot believe you're trying to get back in that place. This isn't gonna be easy. Well, 
dog? What do you think? Any ideas? Whoa, what are you doing? What's that? Oh, he's got a gravity gun thing of his own. All right, dog. That's not too helpful. <laughs> Let's play fetch. He has such good characterization. I love giving a lot of emotion and nuance to like a droid's, uh, like a robot's um, personality and animation. It's it's very cool. Dog, what are you? <laughs> I think dog needs a few bullets. Oh, oh. No, he's fine. He knows what's up. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Dog, really? That was a little close. It's gotten into you, huh? How exactly is this supposed to help us? He's gonna yeet it into the... Wait a minute. Oh no. <laughs> You're not serious. Are you? Are you gonna put us in the car? And then throw us in? Oh my god, he is. He's gonna launch us. <laughs> Unless you have a better suggestion. He is a robot. He's done the math. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Dude, their characterization is so good. As fast as you can. These animations are really good. Yeah, what the fuck? I love, I love fucking. Oh wow, <laughs> I love like robots with personality. It's so good. Okay, <laughs> we'll be fine, Alex. Brace yourself, <laughs> Um. Okay, dog. Let's do it. Where are the seatbelts in this thing? Oh. Careful, hold on. Oh. Whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Phew. Good throw, dog. Now go, boy, go on. You'll be fine, just... Uh-oh. What now? Oh! Whoa. Oh, shit. Uh... Hold on! Okay. Oh! Uh. <laughs> This is one hell of a roller coaster ride! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Alright, let's get off before the next ride starts. <laughs> I love her. Oh my god. She handles that so well. I just was just like just like just hanging in there, no broken bones or anything. She's like, alright. Let's get out of here. She's great. My god, this place is really coming apart. My yeah, fucking Wow. Well, we're back in the citadel, guys. Just when you thought you got out of the mess, you <laughs> right back in. Out of the frying pan. What's gonna happen in here, you know? I also have no idea how long episode one or episode two of Half-Life 2 is. I don't know if they're fully fledged expansions in their own right or whether they're like shorter. I don't know whether this will be a short experience or not, but I, I hope not because I want as much Half-Life in my life as possible. <laughs> so I, I have no idea. So we'll just go for the ride and we'll see what happens. But I am so on board for this for this ride. Oh, what a drop! We've got to find a way down to the core. <laughs> I wish we had a map. Oh my god! This is just like an instant step up as well from, um, which is even hard to say. Like it's an instant step up of like animation and atmosphere and stuff going on in the background like wow oh my god stalkers stalkers well they shouldn't bother 
covered with sickly deep in the loam. I'll just disable this field. Damn, I can't get this down. Something. It's that stalker. He's holding it from the other side. So we don't have time to look for another way around. Oh, how are we going to get through here? So this guy, they, this guy has. They could help us get out of here. This guy just has laser eyes. Is that what's going on there? And this dude has his like, he's had his face like ripped off, and then he's got like vis like. What the fuck? Oh, these guys, right? Hang on, let me check this out. Oh, look at the legs. Ugh, so it's like a metal plate over their face and it's all just been stripped away. You can't use gravity on bodies anymore because it's not like supercharged, that's such a shame. That's horrifying. Oh wow. Oh, maybe, is this the way that I'm supposed to be going? I thought that I was gonna just gravity gun. Oh, the mines have moved down there, okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, well that's one way to get down there, I guess. That was an accident, but sure. <laughs> Ah! Oh, no! My suit is still overcharged. And it restores my health in here as well. Nice. Oh god. Ah, 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 oh, oh, ah, ah. Stop. Leave me alone. I only just want one. Go up there. Oh! Do you mind? I just, need, I just need one, apparently. I think so. What's this? Oh, you found one. Yeah. It wasn't easy. Tell me how to reset the targeting system on these things. A little extra juice in the right spot, and it's on our side. I'll hold it out where I can work on it. Oh. Ooh. It's a lot more unstable, but it should last long enough to take out the stalkers. Okay. Do I shoot it? Like, just shoot it? Better do the rest. Ah! Off it goes! Okay. <laughs> okay. Get through now. Oh. 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 Let's go. It's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow. Okay, I understand. Let's proceed. God, this place is so creepy, dude. They're just like, they're stuck, just like, just still doing stuff. I don't know, like... Even though everything's totally falling apart. It's still hard at work. Oh shit. Combine is still here. So apparently they're too busy trying to get out. Oh shit, ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh. oh fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that was random. Oh. Jesus. Talk about unstable. Yeah. I really don't think we should get him around. I miss when my gravity gun was like super powered. <laughs> Especially considering it's my only weapon. down from here. 
Oh shit, actual light bridge. Turn it off, turn it off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy crap, we gotta cross through that? That's what sprints for, baby. I'll be right behind you. Okay, I hope so. I love that she looks at it as well. The char the characters feel so realistic in in this game, and I think that's like so cool in terms of like animation and expression and how they interact with each other and like running through the environment and interacting with it. Like, and I was saying this about like you know even their eyes look so good. Like, there's just something so realistic about um, you don't need like these. AAA, outstanding, beautiful, the best graphics of all time to go, wow, you know, like, you can still feel so immersed and believable in, like, the world that you're in with, like, older graphics in just how that they, how the characters act in the world that they're in. And I just find it absolutely fascinating how good this, this game is on almost every single level, you know what I mean? Like, genuinely. It, this game doesn't really, it does not hold back in terms of, like, what it's capable of. What the hell are those things? What things? Hmm, maybe this console has some useful information. These? Oh god. Let me see if I can pin down a path to the core. This is a recording. Tell me this is going to be Dr. Breen's host body. get like his consciousness put into one of those things that's why it showed us that recording to remind us of that almost as if I haven't immediately jumped into playing this game right after finishing the ending because I straight up just need to continue playing it because I'm like oh, I need to go straight into it right away the ending is so fresh in my mind right now I'm literally playing this right after <laughs> I did the ending to the main game uh, Oh fuck. What's going on in there? Oh, I'm gonna get my supercharged gravity gun, it's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry, Alex. It's gonna be it's gonna be so fine, yeah. <laughs> Yay! Yeah it is. Oh Yeah dude. I got Oh yeah, we got the supercharged one back. Do you know what's crazy? Is like they're just like uh oh, half life. Half-Life, too many guns. All you need is the gravity gun now. They're like, do you want any other guns? You don't need it. All you need is this supercharged bad boy. Zap him, throw him. Anything you want with the gravity gun. That's all you need. Meanwhile, Alex has her handgun still. <laughs> mm, crazy. Ah. Oh, I missed. Hang on, give me another one. I missed. Aha! Yeah, this is clever. Oh shit. Me just loving the 
the elements of this game while we're fucking getting massacred. Here, you power it now. <laughs> Ooh. This is crazy. It's just literally just a continuation of um it's it's wild. It's just literally a continuation of, of Half-Life 2. Like this is like almost an, an epilogue in a sense to uh to Half-Life 2. Oh shit. I can't do anything, I'm sorry, Alex. Oh, there we go, I can. I lied. Alright, uh, where can I get some orbs? Where can I get some orbs? Here's one. I need another orb, please. Can I please have orb? I must ponder it. Oh, they're down here. Ooh. Oops. Oh, God. Oh. Hey, what's going on? Thank you. Oh, Mike, how can I not get this in? Why wouldn't it go in? What's happening? Oh, I can't even see the giant fucking thing right in front of it, blocking the thing. Sorry. I'm blind, apparently. <laughs> it's like, literally can't even see. Oh yeah, they blow up, don't they? Not this side. Look, why isn't this working? I need to get it. Can I, like... Do I have to, like, rebound it or something? Yeah, you rebound it in there. There you go. Watch out, Alex. Jesus. I need to be the one, the one to watch out. Ah! Fucking hell, man. Oh my god, no, not those. Not Striders. Oh shit. Uh, I did, yeah. <laughs> I did. The Citadel is nuts. You gonna zap that thing for me? Yeah. Got it. Oh, it's very, very handy, that thing you got there, Alex. Oh, shit. Stuff that they like 
make you do with the gravity gun is so cool. It's so handy. It's literally like the perfect, it's like the perfect gun. It's like the perfect weapon, dude. Because it's like so useful for traversal and figuring out things and then also at the same time... Can you get it going again? Um, killing enemies. Oh, hang on. Ah, uh, uh, I see. <laughs> That's so cool. The creative puzzle solving process is so cool. That's awesome. Like, they don't just make things, like, simple, it's like... Up there! They don't just make it, like, super simple, it's like... Do what you did last time. Gotta use your brain a little bit. What's going on? Are we going back up? Oh, oh, there's a fucking... There's a fucking thing that's, like, zapping it with his laser eyes, goddammit. Alright. I gotta kill him somehow. No, no, no! I need to kill him. Stalker. What's yeah. he doing? No, oh my God! It's hidden everywhere except him. No. <laughs> I got him. There you go. <laughs> got him. Good job. Well, well, thank you. Here we go. Watch out for more things coming down conveniently only when we're moving. I think I see a stop down below. Let's get off there and see where it leads. Okay. Oh. Look out! <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> oh boy. I'm surprised so much of the Citadel is, is functional at this point. I guess it's largely still put together, but it's just like the top and so most of the surroundings that got like absolutely destroyed and gutted. This could be it, Gordon. Careful. Direct intervention. Probably un they're probably still under orders. Yep, that's me. No, knows exactly what I'm doing at all times. We're doing, we're doing this again. Remember what happened, what happened last time. She's very, she's very sweet towards Gordon. Hurry back. Yeah, she's very, she's very sweet towards Gordon. She got so excited that we were alive. <laughs> Giving us that hug. Wow. Fuck oh, now. Oh wait. 
wait a minute, what? Uh, did that guy, did that guy destroy it? Get out of here. There we go. Oh no! Oh, shit! 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 Oh! That fucking ah! That dickhead! Get out of here! Get zapped! <laughs> Dude, this music is so cool. Cool. <laughs> am I zapping it? Am I just walking? Am I am I just stepping into the beam right now? I think I'm just. Uh, no, I'm not I'm going over this way. <laughs> I was like, am I just going right into it? <laughs> I always just went right into the beam. Fuck's sake. I was like, surely we're going right into the beam. Music in the atmosphere of this is incredible. do now oh well oh. going this way yeah ah. oh god guys let me <laughs> let me live let me live Oh, alright. Am I going in here? Ah, I see. That's cool. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, this is so bad with, with Wasid. So bad. Oh no! <laughs> no! Ah, there we go. <laughs> shit. That reacted when I... Hang on. Ooh, it reacts when I do that. Ooh, that's so cool. Far out. Alright, don't let it touch me, I suppose. Oh, this is so cool. Oh! Oh, I needed to put it in... Oh, shit. I need to put it in there. Fuck! <laughs> Hang on. I need to get another one. Here. No, I've made a mistake. 
<laughs> I accidentally threw it into the thing. And I got an idea. Okay. Just have to quickly do that to like reset it. <laughs> there you go. Alright, nice. That's two. I think I'm going to that one. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. This is great. It's giving me like this is giving me like such flashbacks to uh, to Black Mesa. When you're just like navigating the f ah shit. When you're just navigating the fucking uh, environment. Oh my god. Like navigating the just crushed, destroyed facility. Oh my god. <laughs> that was awkward. Yeah, she reminds me of like when we're navigating like Black Mesa when it's all like gone to shit, like and you just got scrambling through the, the ruins and going through all these like in all these places. Nice. Oh, hang on. What just happened? Oh hang on. What's happening? What's wrong? Oh, something down here? Oh shit! Oh god. Uh, well, we've got a we've got a problem. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Ah, oh, there we go. I was like, I'm trying to be like, how the hell do I get back up to get the energy things? There you go. There's a hole in the roof. Let me get one. Thank you. Nice. Um. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I like. Did I just trap myself? There you go. <laughs> All right. Now give me another one, dude. The the way that the environment works is so cool. How this all works together is just. Just so impressive. Oh no! No! My gravity gun! We've stabilized the reactor. That's cool, but now I don't have the cool ability. Oh. I can't fucking just grab bodies. Damn it. Alex, I made it. Oh no. Now my suit powers aren't great either. Gordon! I did it! You did it! Yeah. The containment system's back in place. It won't last forever, but at least we've bought a little time. While you were in there, I did some poking around in the control data. They were trying to start a chain reaction, all right. 
but destroying the Citadel is just a side effect. Since we took out Brain's reactor, this is the only way they have to send a transmission packet back to wherever they came from. I can't tell what the packet contains, but it's important enough that they're willing to sacrifice the whole Citadel to send it off. We need to get it back to my dad and Dr. Kleiner at the outpost right away. I've been pulling down a copy. Whatever it is, I have a feeling it's bad news for all of us. Mm. There's something else. It's Judith. Take a look. Oh shit. I'm fairly sure I've pinned down the location of the project. It's hard to say how much of it might have survived intact or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work if it were discovered by the Combine. We'll need to take a close look at it, of course, but I should be able to give a better opinion within a few hours. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than... I'm going to cut this short. We may have been spotted. Where the hell is she? Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? We need to get this and the transmission packet to my dad. He'll know what to do with it. Looks like a mixture between a strider and dog. I've got it right here. Now let's get the hell out of here. Uh-oh. I think they felt that. Oh god. I secured an exit elevator. It's this way. Come on. You too, right? Something tells me they don't want us reading their mail. <laughs> this lift will take us to a train platform. If we can hitch a ride, it should take us straight out of the city. Hey, the gravity gun's back to me. Well, it was nice while it lasted. <laughs> Her animations with that are so good as well. Like they specifically make her look towards like the gun to like then like notice it and point it out instead of just like giving us a dead stare and going, hey, the gravity gun's back to normal. Like actually like engages and looks at objects in the environment to really make it like such a believable encounter. It's so cool. I really love that. Oh shit, Alex! Don't get shot, please. That'll slow, but not for long. God damn, this place is just huge, man. Oh fuck. Uh. Can I can I destroy them at all? They actually yeah. What type of gun is that? Oh shit. How do we bring that over here and I'll it? Oh, okay. <laughs> now they'll just attack each other. I was confused because she wasn't saying anything, she was trying to shoot it, so I was like assuming that she'd be able to like... Yeah. I was just assuming that we could blow them up for some reason. Oh. Uh. won't be expecting this. Oh, we're gonna send, send the mine in? Oh, is there one on each? Ah. Uh. Haha! <laughs> Go get them! They're like, ah! Spicy bowling balls! <laughs> <Get them. laughs> I love that we're, like, not even using conventional weaponry anymore. It's, it's just, like, fucking spicy electric mines and gravity gun. Coast is clear. That's all you need. And then they'll blow up, right? This is our train. Let's get in. All right, we're back to normal health things. Now oh, we're riding a train. Oh my god. Well, that was a nice 
nice clean getaway. Uh. I don't know what's in this copy we made, but they're not thrilled about us having it. Do you see what's on this ship? All things considered, we're not. Yeah. I was like, do you see what's on this ship? God damn the combine. This is what happens to you if you resist. Or if you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. God, I hope you don't remember who you were. Alright. Let's see where this train is headed. Did something like this happen to her mother? Cause she... <clears throat> I don't... I can't remember if it's actually been addressed if anything's happened to her mother or uh, something. I've, I can't... I can't remember. But she had such... A, she had such an emotional response to that right then to just be like, I hope you don't remember who you were, you know what I mean? So... I wonder if that's what happened to her mother. Because all we know about... All we know about her mother, sorry, is that uh, all I remember is most recently Dr. Breen was like, you have your mother's eyes. So like he knows, uh, Alex's mother, I guess from, from Black Mesa. We're not on foot. Let's hope the worst is over. It looks like you saved our lives again. As always. That's me. What's that? Saving lives and no idea why. Oh my god. <laughs> With some semblance of an idea why. Oh my god. Brace uh, against what? There's no seatbelts on this thing. Oh. Yeah. Can you leave me alone? Oh my god. On. I can't fucking. Oh God, help. That's it. Keep pulling. God. I've been trying. It doesn't react. It won't. I'm zapping it. It doesn't care. It's like it's hitting like a barrier. I'm sorry, Alex. It's just not working. Okay. I thought she meant to give the stalker a zap, not the door. Okay. Are we, are we just move? Are we just moving on? Oh, low life. Hold up a sec. I gotta, I gotta catch my breath. Okay. Well, this might not be as easy as I thought. We're in the same boat as the other evacuees now, on foot to a train station. Let's head for the surface. Damn. You can tell that she gets pretty pretty shaken by the encounters with the uh with the stalkers. Alright. I think with that one guys, this is where we will end our first episode of Half-Life 2, episode one. It's gonna get very confusing when we go, this is Half-Life 2 episode one. Episode one. So I might, for the sake of my own brain and yours, say Half-Life 2 Episode 1, Part 1. And next time in Part 2 of Half-Life 2 Episode 1, uh, we will 
head on foot to a train station. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for the first episode of Half-Life 2, Episode 1. Um, <laughs> very impressed again. It's still the Half-Life 2 stuff. It's it's more of the same of this uh, spectacular thing, but I just love like the 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 way that it just sucks you into the world and the atmosphere is, is incredible. So, as usual, we're, we're s still fighting um, after we've uh, tried to escape from the from the Citadel. Um, and then we got a, we're in the same position, as, uh, as Alex said, as the other evacuees. So hopefully we can get through to uh, Dr. Kleiner and, uh, and Eli at some point. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in part two of Half-Life 2 episode one.